Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, on this beautiful Eastern Conference Final Wednesday. Eastern Conference Final Wednesday. 8 o'clock tonight, ESPN, TNT. I think it's ESPN, but I always tell you, I ain't the TV freaking guide, man. You all, you watch it this far, you can figure it out. Anyway, I'm Johnny Basement. You're in the basement, and I hope you brought your basement mentality. What is that? I'll get into that. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notice. Hey, guys, thanks for getting me to 500. Who knew? I thought I only had 10 viewers on here. I got like 10 to 12 regular people that contact me during the football season and during the uh, hockey season now. But you know what? That's okay. This is what basement mentality is all about. Basement mentality is not about being a loser. It's about being a fighter with dogs, man. Fighters. Basement mentality means we fight no way out of the basement. The Rangers fight their way out of the basement in elimination games. Five elimination game wins in a row. In a row. That's basement mentality. Basement mentality is you are a fighter. This channel right now, this Johnny Basement channel is in the freaking basement. It sucks. But we're fighting our way out of it. Why do you guys stop by here to begin with? Because we bring it real here. I'm a fan. I'm an avid fan talking to you fans. I would talk to you no different if I met you in real life. I ain't nobody special. I'm not a professional. I am a fan. And I bring it like a fan. I watch other channels. These guys know their stuff. They know their stuff. But you'll never see me on here being something that I'm not. Taking the mic and being like, uh, hey, tonight during uh, the Tampa Bay Rangers, uh, you know, matchup. We're going to have a big goalie matchup. Man, you're never going to see that here. You're never going to see that here. We bring it real here. I make mistakes and I leave them out there when I make mistakes. You all call me out on them and I check them. So let's get into this, guys. Let's get into this. Now, Ranger fans, let's be real. Let's be real. Tampa Bay is not Pittsburgh. They're not Carolina. Pittsburgh was a great win for us. It was a great ego boost. Great learning tool. Because the Penguins were, you know, three-time champions. A lot of those guys are still on the team with Crosby, uh, Malkin, and Latang, for instance. It was a great win against them. Carolina, the Candy Canes, we showed what they were about. House of Horrors, freaking Candyland. We, we, we proved that. We proved that. But again, Louis Domingue, Anti Ranta, and the backups to them, which were third-string backups, and who the hell knows what their names are. My point is, Tampa Bay has a goalie that can match ours, man. Andre Vasilevsky is the real deal. Let's get, let's get real about this, Ranger fans. We're facing the back-to-back -back defending champions. This is not going to be easy. You're going to have to bring the dog out in us for this one. That's why I'm wearing this freaking Chiefs jersey today. Charlestown Chiefs, dog, basement mentality. That's what we need out here today. Andre Vasilevsky. Listen, we all love Igor. Igor is the up-and-coming star. Igor is the statistically greatest goalie in the game. Vasilevsky is better right now. Why? It's real, guys. It's real. He's a back-to-back -back defending champion. He's an amazing goaltender. He's 8-3 in the playoffs right now with a 2.2 goal again average. And I think his save percentage is like... I'm going to say 932. So what's Igor? Igor's 8 and 5. He's got a 2.4 uh, GAA and a 918 save percentage. You can correct me on that. Guys, it's around that. Whatever the case, Vasilevsky is the real deal. We are finally facing a number one goalie and the number one goalie in the league. Igor is going to be that, guys. He's going to be that. He is there. He's doing cartwheels and standing on his freaking head for us. Finally, we gave him a break in game seven and six against the Candy Canes. This is not the Candy Canes, guys. This is not a team filled with former Rangers that couldn't get it done. All right? This is going to be a real test. The Toronto Maple Leafs had the lightning on the ropes. Up three games to two. Brought it home in game seven, Toronto, Toronto. They had him. You got to knock him out. 
I'm not ripping on you if you're a Leaf fan. I'm not ripping on your team. I feel for you. Guys, I'm a four decades New York Jets fan. That pathetic dumpster fire of a freaking organization. Disappointment is my middle name when it comes to those clowns. All right? But I love them. You fight for them. They better have a dog mentality. This ain't even about. Forget the Jets. You leave fans, I feel for you. Let's see what we can do for you in this series. Ranger fans, man, we got it. We got dogs on our team, though. When you think about the dogs that had basement mentality throughout the playoffs history for us, Steph, you got to start with Stefan Mateau. Up to, uh, against the Devils in 94. Game 7 overtime. Winning goals. Sent us to the finals. Which, what happened in the finals that year against Vancouver? Brian Leach. Game 7. Game 7 dog. Base mentality. Brought the cup home. After a gazillion freaking years. And I'll throw an honorable mention in that series for uh, Mike Richter who saved that shootout on, uh, on uh, Pavel Bure. Look it up. It was an amazing save. Another dog. 2015, Derek Stepan against the Capitals. Game 7 dog. Basement mentality, man. Never quit. Right up to this year, fellas. 2022. Game 7, round 1, Pittsburgh. Temi Panarin. Overtime goal right away. Dog. That's a dog. Now I'm going to throw an honorable mention, even though we kicked the Candy Canes ass in Game 7. you got to throw an honorable mention there for Chris Kreider. There's no game winners, no thrillers. Because we won 6-2. to two. But he had two goals. Guy has 14 career goals in elimination games. And he's 6-1 in Game 7's Chris Kreider. Honorable mention. Just honorable mention. So what do we have? What advantage do we have over the Lightning? We got home ice. Braden Point may not play for the Lightning in Game 1. But we don't have the luxury of the goalie, guys. We don't. What we do have is we're rolling up our sleeves. And pulling out the Rangers. Because we're dogs. We got the Trouba train. True, 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 true. Jarvis, Crosby, Domi. They all felt the wrath of the Trouba train. We got players. The kid line, Lafreniere, Kako, and Philip Heedle. Keandre Miller on defense. Igor and Nett. Yo, guys, this is our core for the future. I'm going to be caffeined up all day waiting for this game. Fellas, got to bring it real. And thank you, Ranger fans. Driving down to Carolina, that was cool. That would have been a hell of a long ride back had we lost, but that was cool. And I know there's a lot of New Yorkers in Tampa Bay. I know there is. That could be like a second home for us in this series. It could be like a second home. This is, this, this, is, this is a crazy series. This is what the league wanted. A young upstart Igor versus Vasilevsky. Now, if you think back to 2015, the, the Lightning were pretty much where the Rangers are now. They're an up-and-coming up team. They're a young team. Stamkos and Hedman were like their real veterans on that team. And they fought, faced the New York Rangers. It's almost like a flip, except we didn't have the rings. But damn, you took it to Game 7, and then you had to face Henrik Lundqvist in the Garden. Henrik Lundqvist in the Garden is a freaking god, man. You knew... The Lightning were going to lose. But what'd they do? They pulled out the dogs in themselves. They pulled out a basement mentality. They fought. They fought their way up. And they beat them 2-0 in the garden. Henrik Lundqvist was 6-1 in Game 7s before that loss. I think it's the only time he ever gave up two goals in a Game 7. I don't know about the other one. I know the six wins, he didn't give up more than one in any one of those. But the Lightning did it to us when we were the better team. We were the favorite team. Game seven in the garden, we dropped it, man. 2 nothing. They beat Lundqvist. Lundqvist was the mountain that Vasilevsky is right now. Vasilevsky is that mountain. Without him, the Lightning wouldn't be where they are. They're not as deep as they were last year. But they're back-to-back -back champions, guys. Let's not kid around. Let's not fool ourselves. We got the intangibles. We got the fight. We got the freaking heart. We got the heart. I don't know what you got to do today. I don't know what kind of work you all do. But thank you for stopping by the basement with me, Johnny Basement. Bring your basement mentality for the game tonight. Bring the dog in you. Bring the fight. We're here. The Rangers are here when no one expected us to be here. We're playing with house money right now. House money. 
We got nothing to lose. We're throwing it all out there. Thank you again all for stopping by. Thank you to my loyal listeners, listeners, followers, whatever. Fans speaking to fans. I love you all. Win or lose, we're talking after the game. I'm Johnny Basement with the Basement Mentality, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you tonight. I'm out.